Well, hello, my dear creative. It's Olga Sarekina here, and welcome to this lesson where we are going to talk about two point perspective. This tutorial is kind of special because it's dedicated for uh, 10k uh, creatives who've already subscribed to my YouTube channel. So I decided to make a um, nice little throwback to when it all started and it all started with uh, my first video on youtube exactly on this topic it was two point perspective we were drawing a bedroom interior in two point perspective so today i want to make like homage to that and uh, record uh, an exterior in two point perspective and this is going to be a very interesting topic <coughs> we are going to draw Parisian cafe. So let's take a look at it uh, like as a little uh, coffee challenge. <laughs> let's call it like that. Um, Paris. So let's imagine that we all together are in Paris right now. We are chatting about like art, creativity, uh, perspective drawing, urban sketching, interior sketching, markers. So just having a nice uh, chat, uh, even though now that we can't really travel physically much, uh, but in our minds we can do that, right? So let's imagine that we are together in Paris now in a cafe and we begin. So first I want to begin uh, with a simple breakdown of perspective, two point perspective. So. What is it basically? Uh, it is simply an angle. It's interesting because in uh, Russian, when you say two point perspective, uh, you call it like literal translation from Russian to from English to Russian. It will be like a uh, angular perspective. So we basically see an angle, right? Be that an angle of a building, right, or of some house, or be that an angle of a room right where like, chairs and, and so on so just some basic concept we usually see either two walls or two uh, sides of the building and how it is created it is created by the fact that we have two vanishing points on the horizon line so if you are like a complete beginner i will quickly explain this concept um, so the horizon line is basically almost the same as our eye level. So if you imagine that we as a human being standing and watching at this particular uh, setup, interior, this is exactly this level is where our eyes are sitting. So this is our level, let's call it this way. It can be called also horizon line or the eye level many names but the concept is one so this is the point of view from which we are standing and experiencing this particular object interior architecture and so on and here we have two vanishing points so you can see that i've already drawn these two walls i draw it almost automatically so if you prolong these lines they will meet in a particular point on the horizon line the same is here if you prolong them they will meet i'm here not very exact uh, so the probably the best way to show it not to first draw the walls but first draw the angle and then set two vanishing points a1 and a2 and then we draw lines of the walls. So this is like a quick little reminder in case you've already participated in one of my perspective drawing tutorials, but it's always great to remind yourself some basics. So this wall will converge in the left vanishing point and the left wall will converge in the right vanishing point. Okay, so having that in mind, we are going to draw uh, a nice French cafe. So let's order some coffee. Uh, 
coffin. Merci. <laughs> Some of my French <laughs> something that I remember. <laughs> and let's draw it. So we have here, we'll have here kind of this wall. So what we'll see is, let's imagine this wall, that it's still prolonging the wall of the building this time. And here we'll have uh, chairs with a bunch of tables in front of them. So you always keep in mind like the basic concept of perspective. So let's, let's draw it. Uh, imagine that we are standing pretty close to this wall. So let's first set our vanishing point. Then we will show the like ground level. So let's imagine that our vanishing point will be somewhere here. And our lines will be converging to it. So let's... First, I recommend to draw a line in the air in case you want to draw all your lines like hand drawn and not by a ruler. And another line will be slightly like above the uh, horizon line or the eye level. So this gives us the kind of a wall of a building of this cafe that we are drawing now. Next, we will show the level of the windows for it. So let's say that it's slightly below the horizon line and also this line is reaching to the vanishing point. The reason that uh, it is almost flat is because it is very, very close to the horizon line and that's why this line is, try is nearly approached to this eye level and it made it look like almost flat. So if you draw the horizon line here and you create kind of a fan, you will see that the closer the lines to the vanishing point, the flatter they appear. And it doesn't matter if the lines are below the vanishing point or above it. So these two lines, let's say that they are these two. And this closest line is, let's say, this one. That's why it will look this way, okay? Next, so we're breaking down our sketch into some big compositional pieces. So we are going to have also a line which is running up to the vanishing point, line for the chairs. Uh, and the line, let's say, for the tables. Okay. Next, we are going to uh, divide into uh, parts this big window. So let's make a bunch of lines like this to do it like that and then we start dealing with uh, chairs so since this is a two-point perspective uh, and we can see only the wall uh, we will really see how it works this angle that I was talking about we'll see the angle uh, when we will be drawing chairs So let's show the top part of the chair. And we first will draw like a bunch of chair backs. It's just making it a little bit simpler. So I'm stopping at this line. So this is, let's say, also will play a role as a line for the transition in between the back of the chair to the seating area. So let's show it like that. It's very common to have this uh, arrangement for the cafe 
uh, outdoors in Paris. And now, in order to show this seating like area, the chair will need another vanishing point. So, in order to make it very, very visually clear, I'll put it right here at the very edge of our, our page. But actually, it can sit a little bit further uh, to the right. It doesn't really matter here. And then I start drawing lines from this vanishing point. Probably you can hear <laughs> my son on the background. <laughs> He's playing with daddy. <laughs> He's trying to walk already, making his first steps. So don't be afraid. He's, he's all fine. Okay. <clears throat> And uh, the last thing for uh, these chairs will show the part for the legs. So again, I'll draw another line starting from the vanishing point. And in this tutorial, we don't dive really deep into like, uh, technical precision of uh, perspective. So here I want to give you like a basic idea and to share with you this like poetry of life, traveling, right? So here we want to learn some perspective basics and have fun at the same time. This is actually uh, was the idea behind uh, creating my YouTube channel. I really wanted to share my knowledge and uh, creativity, drive, inspiration in terms of perspective drawing and interior sketching. Uh, so mm, that's how I started my YouTube, not for validation, but to share. So people who watch can learn and have fun. And at the same time, I even didn't think about like millions of views, but for now, there are really, really lots of views. Okay. And the last thing for this stage of uh, sketching, we will show our uh, tables. Our tables, so usually in Paris, they put them in between the chairs, right? So the first one will be quite close to us. First, I recommend you to try and make a couple of ovals or ellipses, um, draw them. Uh, here on this side, so you will feel more comfortable. It's very easy to make the crossing of the lines and then show guide marks. So you want to put the same white to the left as you put to the right and the same like segment to the bottom and to the top. Then uh, I recommend you to show kind of parabolic forms here on the sides and nice curves and it can help you to finish this ellipse. When you draw this enough times, you'll be able to draw any ellipse without any guidelines. So you just want to try to make it uh, here on the side. And then let's go back here. And I just want to show quickly the edges for this first chair so let's say it will take almost like the entire mm, foreground so let's say it will be uh, like this big this big and this high this high let's say like that and then we connect these dots like that the first one is ready and the second one. So remember we did this line as well. It was a line for the tables. So you can put your table around this area. And the second one will be in between these two chairs, approximately uh, here. And the further away the, uh, the tables are from us, actually this one should sit a little bit closer. So this mm, gap in between them should be smaller. Uh, the further the objects are from us in perspective, the smaller they appear. And then 
can show quickly like the basement base for these nice tables. It's also very helpful to show another line starting from the vanishing point. Let's say that these tables will end up here and uh, I think we'll crop our image at the end like somewhere here. So what we already see is on the this and this um, tables base. So the base will be slightly more narrow compared to the tabletop. So let's show this and this traditional metal base for table in the Parisian brasserie. Just like that. All right. And that finishes our first stage of uh, this drawing. Now I want to make probably a better uh, composition in terms of cropping. Maybe I'll even crop like the half of this table and uh, I want to crop this so it will be more like a square, square composition. And then we are transitioning to coloring already. So all you'll need is just two markers. I will be using red and dark brown. Plus you'll need a white ink gel pal pen for the details, but it's not necessary. And liner, but we've already used it. In case you were drawing with pencil, the first step you can include a liner uh, now. All right, so I'd love to start with some bright colors, these like really quick urban sketches. Red color is very common for uh, Parisian uh, cafes. They love to uh, incorporate it in furniture a lot. So let's say that our chairs will be beautiful red so the further the chairs are from us the less amount of color we apply here right so here we'll see just a little bit of red here and there next let's switch to the um, brown color i'll be using white knit and applying my strokes in the direction of the vanishing point. So like that. And especially in the foreground, we want to be more precise with the silhouette of our chairs. A little bit more precise here. Here, you can simply quickly apply this color. That's why I love sketching so much that it's not necessary to fill in accu really accurately with color all this area, uh, but uh, like our brain, it very quickly gets the idea that these chairs, they are, they have this dark background. And even though here we have white space, it's quite clear that the background is dark. So let's show this dark part here. And maybe darken a little bit this part beneath the chair. Especially this chair on the foreground. So nice relax. Next, we'll use this color here on our windows. I think it will be a good idea to show some reflections because since this is a glass, we will surely will have some reflections of the architecture opposite this cafe. 
just a little bit just to get some idea that we have a nice building and make sure that uh, the lines that you are drawing for the windows that are in reflections they also running down to the vanishing point to the left okay so we don't need to be here very precise but we want to show like some basic idea so maybe this line of cornice will go in here as well all right next while this marker is in our hands i think i'll add some textures to the chair in front of us so this is also a very common pattern for the parisian chairs and also i'll use it to show this metallic base of the tabletop so usually the tabletop is either marble or stone or some imitation of stone but um, this part around it it's usually metallic but we are using today a very limited amount of colors so i'll show this quality of metal that it's reflection it's uh, um, it's reflecting so one side will be a little bit darker and this will give us a sense of metal surface plus let's show the base of this table here quickly here as well as here okay so let's take a quick look it's very helpful from time to time to rotate your drawing and get kind of a fresh eye effect like that and as i promised we will be using white ink gel pen just to add some more details to this lovely uh, table on this base so it's not necessary but it will look really lovely just here and maybe a couple of details we'll put to this metal surface you see how quickly it can make the look very very accomplished maybe a couple of details here on the fabric and then add some nice texture especially we want to focus on the foreground and sketching because we don't want to like over overwork with some details just to catch the basic idea that's why i really love travel sketching because you know that you have a very limited amount of time sometimes this is the amount of time uh, that you have when a waiter um, brings coffee to you so you have this five to ten minutes and uh, you can do something really good instead of like searching or surfing instagram or something you can catch up this lovely moment this beautiful poetry of life in your sketch and later on in life when you're going through your drawings you'll i bet you that you'll remember everything about that day that's this is one of the reasons why I love sketching so much because it somehow um, captures our like emotions and feelings and uh, the present moment. Uh, this power of now can be hacked <laughs> uh, with sketching. And I want to add a little bit more details to this chair by uh, adding more precision to its legs. Let's show this pattern here as well very very quickly maybe the third chair but here it's okay not to touch them at all and i think it will be a good idea to show some beautiful marble texture if you started drawing with a pencil it's okay to erase these construction lines but since i have it here 
Let's find if I'll let them be. Marble texture is really quickly shown by uh, adding these irregular lines, like veins of marble. Some of them are slightly thicker, some of them are really like as thin as hair. And I want to add some precision to this part of the table, especially here. It's a way to add some shadows underneath the hatching also works plus it works will work really good with the window texture so just put a couple of nice diagonal lines um, i think here i want to add more of darkness and break down this surface and it's okay to add maybe some pavement again these lines will be running up to one or the other vanishing point okay and uh, this was like the second stage when we applied basic colors basic textures it's also a good idea at this point to rotate your drawing again to give it a uh, like nice fresh look to see what you want to add maybe i want to add more red color make it more intense on the foreground chair make it a little bit more brilliant and bright and I feel like uh, we lack details and details. I call it stage three. So probably here we'll have okay, two nice cups of coffee. Let's make them red as well. Here maybe also another. So just imagine that uh, um, just two people, they had a nice chat conversation. Maybe it was like us <laughs> and we just left our cups of coffee. And we left to explore the beauty of Paris, its architecture, and white. Maybe I will have here another. I noticed that in Paris people really smoke a lot, so we usually have this element on the uh, uh, tables in the cafes. Which is quite disturbing for me because I, I'm not a smoker, <laughs> but it adds some tourism vibe for sure. And finally, let's add some lovely details here and there. I feel like here I will use my white pen. draw on top of this dark color so the darker the color the better white pen will perform yep. and the framing let's make it a beautiful red okay and let's sign our sketch so Parisian Cafe and here a liner by and your name Olga Sorokina. All right, my dear creative, I really hope you enjoyed this um, <laughs> coffee challenge, <laughs> cafe challenge. Um, so can't wait to see your drawings. Please make sure to use. The hashtag Sorokina students on Instagram if you want to post them on Instagram so it's basically my last name Sorokina and students it looks like that it's in my bio as well so if you go to Instagram school of sketching you can see this hashtag in my bio and I'd really love to see your drawing soon 
thank you so much again it was olga sorokina for more information you're always welcome to check out my website scholarskating.com for all my latest news online courses and of course uh, uh lessons from the club uh, my uh, online sketch membership platform like this one for example is from the club so i wish you to have a wonderful great first of your day lots of in inspiration and yeah i can't wait to see you soon bye for now